Chael Sonnen believes the potential UFC heavyweight title fight between Francis Ngannou and John Jones is the biggest attraction in MMA right now. Francis appears to be safe in that he hasn't been stripped and the rumor of him being stripped hasn't come out yet. We've heard the rumor that Jones and Stipe were going to fight for an interim championship. We've heard a rumor that Jones and Curtis were going to fight. Now that rumor came out and that rumor went right away. But it happened and attached to that fight was gonna be an interim championship. If that's true, that, that would protect Francis. John Jones versus Francis, I think, is the biggest fight you can put on in our industry. I think. But it's also gonna be the first time that you've had a massive fight where they got four years of inactivity between the two of them. It's a very peculiar situation. And we don't know why Stipe has been out, right? Like you gotta give Francis a pass. It's not just the contract thing. It's not the, 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 the slap contest that he wanted to go do with, with Fury. He, he was injured. You gotta give him grace. If you enjoy our content, consider leaving like, subscribe and ring the bell. Sean O'Malley about Corey versus Cheeto. Dude, I'm excited. I'm gonna go. Tim and I are gonna go. I'm gonna sit front row Damn. and observe and watch these two warriors compete, man. Fight, it is a sweet man. fight. You know, it's at Apex. I'm not fighting, so I don't give a f what it be. What's gonna happen? I don't even, I don't even think too much, too far into that. Cejudo, Marlon Vera is just a journeyman, not good enough to beat Corey Sandhagen. You know what? That's not true. I used to call Cheeto a journeyman, but that was before he beat all those good guys. I didn't think Cheeto was gonna get as good as he did, but he's gotten good. He's gotten really good, and uh, you know, nothing but respect for him. I hope he beats Corey. Aljo beats Henry. Aljo moves up to 45. Me versus Cheeto, July, Damn. massive fight for the belt. Or Aljo beats Henry. Comes back. I sleep Aljo. Like, uh, fucking what's his nuts did? My, uh, Marlon Marais. Marais. And uh, then I beat up Cheeto. Either way, it doesn't matter to me. As long as Cheeto gets the job done. I like Corey. Me versus Cheeto's a massive fight. Me versus Corey's a big... Me versus anybody's a good size fight. The biggest fight in the division is me versus anybody. But me versus Cheeto, you know, the people have been waiting for it. And it's, you know... Yeah. It's getting closer. But, yeah, I think Corey's going to bounce around be fast. People look good against Cheeto early. Yeah. I feel like everyone kind of wins those initial rounds. Um, Frankie Edgar won 14 minutes of the fight and then got head kicked by, you know, that goddamn toe. So, I don't know. Five five rounds, small cage, I would say benefits. Cheeto, if it was a small or big cage, three rounds, I would probably pick Corey. So, you know, the, the cage, the amount of, I, I don't know. I'm excited for that fight. It's going to be a sweet fight. Alexander Volkanovsky about Max Holloway. Yeah, uh, it's a tricky one. That's what I said uh, in that, uh, in the lead up to that fight, I felt like he, it was more on him. Because um, obviously, obviously if I, if I lose, that would be bad too, right? But I mean, for him, I just felt like, because again, a lot of people still would uh, throw his name in uh, being one of the greatest featherweights and, because he is, he's, he is one of the greatest featherweights and stuff like that. Uh, but I felt like, you know, he's title, himself in the title picture and all that, he loses again. That makes a, a lot of things hard, you know what I mean? I felt like that does a lot to him. And I said that, and I was a bit, a bit vocal about that early. Um, I still think he was a great champ. I still think he's a great fighter. And I still think he beats uh, most of the top guys anyway. We've got a very strong division. A lot of guys are coming up. And obviously through watching uh, me fight and watching some of the top guys fight, everyone's gonna start evolving more and more and more. So, uh, you know, I feel like you're gonna start seeing these other guys that are rising up really start to get up there anyway but um i still think uh, max yeah it was a max went down he was just i literally um had him figured out and i've just went to another level especially my confidence and things yeah. like that i think that's what it was more about i still think out he i think he makes a very hard fight for anyone in there now. benil dariush about the timing of alexander versus islam being terrible for him in the moment, I felt like it was definitely weird and I was frustrated, I'll be honest with you. I get why they did it. Volkanovsky is the pound-for-pound king, but the timing was terrible for me. 
I seem very cool-headed, but if you push the right buttons or say the right things, I'll probably try to take your head off right there. So, after I found out the news and I cooled off, I said to myself, What difference does it make? I just have to win my fights, it was all good. And look how well it turned out. I believe Makachev will win, but Volkanovsky has the potential to do it. Stylistically, he has all the tools for the stand-up, but I don't know his tools in the ground game. I don't know how much he can improve in his camp, but it will be interesting to see how he handles Makachev's pressure. Right now, I'm leaning Makachev, but I'm also just really excited to see such an interesting fight. Makachev is an unsolved puzzle and I want to solve it. But so is Volkanovsky. No one has gotten close other than what Max Holloway did in the second fight. Dana White and his wife, Anna. Issues statement following altercation from New Year Eve. I'm in Cabo, Mexico, for the holidays with my family and my wife and I were out with family on New Year's Eve and unfortunately that's what happened. I'm one of the guys you heard me say for years, there's never ever an excuse for a guy to put his hands on a woman. And now here I am on TMZ talking about it. My wife and I have been married for almost 30 years. We've known each other since we were almost 12 years old. We've obviously been through some sh tea together and we've got three kids and this is one of those situations that's horrible. I'm embarrassed but it's also one of those situations where we're more concerned about our kids. We have three kids and obviously since the video popped up, we've shown the kids the video and we're more focused on our family right now. People are going to have their opinions on this. Most of the people's opinions will be right especially in my case you don't put your hands on a woman ever. My wife and I obviously love each other. We've been together for a very long time. We've known each other since we were very little and this is just one of those unfortunate situations. There was definitely a lot of alcohol but there's no excuse. I'm literally making no excuses for this thing at all. It's never happened before. It's the first time that it's ever happened and people are going to say what they're going to say. It is what it is. And whatever people do say, it's deserved. I deserve it. It happened. I don't know why it happened and my wife and I have apologized to each other. We've apologized to our kids and this is one of those things that everyone is going to chime in. I could care less what people think about this. We're more concerned about our kids and taking care of our family. Anna White said, Dana White and I have been married almost 30 years. To say this is out of character for him is an understatement. Nothing like this has ever happened before. Unfortunately, we were both drinking too much on New Year's Eve and things got out of control on both sides. We've talked this through as a family and apologized to each other. I just hope people will respect our privacy for the sake of our kids.